that's just a quick demo. I know some of this to a lot of the guys out there that train regular, uh, a bit more experienced. This is just common sense. So this is main, this is mainly for the benefit of the um, the sort of new trainer or, the, or, the, or the, the guy that's just getting into his training. Okay, your belt. My advice is personally, uh, if you're going to go heavy, uh, wear a belt. Okay, it's safety safety first. I'd rather you, uh, you wear a belt and stay safe and keep coming to the gym and keep training then not wear a belt cause yourself an injury and then stay away from the gym and then you know there's no one gets anything out of that okay so see this it's not good enough it's just 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 doing nothing okay it makes me look tough in the gym but it's, it's not actually doing anything okay so when you put this type of powerlifting belt on it must be tight i mean it's, it's got to be tight so a lot of the guys they'll use something and they'll pull so they get that tension and there you go Pull. It's now it's tight okay now now it's supporting this area here the lumbar area and it's holding all this in now it's tight okay if you can breathe properly while you're wearing this belt it's probably not tight enough it should be tight okay a lot of the time they'll you, you see the guys they'll be doing this and they'll even have people helping them helping them take the belt on and helping them take the belt off that's how you wear, wear this belt properly. I know some people think it's self-explanatory, but if it's not tight, if you're not really pulling it, if you're not really, you know, even your training partner's helping you put this on by pulling your back, it's not doing the job efficiently and properly, okay? People walking around the gym like this, okay, to do flies or to do arm curls, no, okay? Waste of time. All right, so that's a quick one just on how to wear a belt. Um, this is more of a powerlifting size belt. There are smaller belts that people use. Um, knee wraps, again, safety first. If in doubt, if you think the weight is heavy or it's heavy for you, it's all, it's all based on the individual, please put these on. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's way safer, it's better to be safe than sorry, as they say, okay? Now, there's a couple of ways of putting this on. I think the, probably the best angle is like this. Some people, they put it on just to cover the knee, just to give the knee extra support. Other people, they put it wide. They, maybe they're going a little bit heavy and they want the extra sort of spring, okay? So, I'm just gonna go with the narrow one and I'm just gonna wrap up the knee. Keep the legs straight. And I'm just gonna go with the knee area here, okay? Okay. Just gonna go with the knee. So that's just covering the knee. So when I'm squatting, it's just protecting this area here. It's giving extra support. So when I've got a lot of weight on, it's giving extra support to the knee, okay? Prevention of injury, that's, that's the reason we do that, okay? If, if I was gonna go really heavy, or one of my training partners was gonna go really heavy, um, we just had my friend here the other day, Yusuf. I wrapped him up for, I think he'd done a 233 kg squat, which is good for him. It's good for anyone, really. Okay, I started high, high up on his leg. Okay, and then I went really tight. Okay, I went really tight. I covered it really tight. I got a real tight wrap all the way round, and I went low. See, it's a lot wider than it was before. Okay, now you get much more spring, so you've got much more spring, okay? It, not only does it support the knee, but you know, in effect, especially for powerlifting, it gives you a much more of a assistance and a bit of a spring. So you can see the differences between the two that are done. One was sort of narrower, and this one is wider, okay? Again, in this gym, uh, we have these for the members, in this gym, if you, if you have any queries, you have any questions, Monster Gym, let's come and ask. I mean, I'm, I'm here, I live here. If not, we've got plenty of, plenty, of, plenty of guys here that are experienced that are wearing this stuff. And uh, of course it cuts your blood, so you can't walk around the gym wearing them. You know, you have to sort of wear them for the exercise, and take them off, okay? Don't, don't walk around the gym with them looking tough, okay? So that's basically a belt and wraps, how to use them, better safe than sorry, okay? Peace.